All right, everybody, this is Ross. Today we are harvesting persimmons. We have a pretty large crop of persimmons this year, especially of the, the Asian types in this plot. This is where my blueberries are. I have a che tree there. And of course we have different types. This is a tam cam, a non-astringent. We have an itchy gyro, another non-astringent. We also have a Miss Kim that I'll be harvesting. Well, I'll have to look at the tree and make a judgment call, but the reason I'm doing this harvesting actually now and really taking all the fruits off the trees is not because of potential critters. I know a lot of you guys worry about squirrels and birds and different things. And uh, the squirrels have pretty much left my persimmons alone just due to some trapping that I've been doing. But we have been getting a lot of frost. So the, the light frost that came in actually a while ago took out a lot of the upper canopy of the leaves and, and really didn't actually hit the fruits all that much. But that frost, what it does is, if it is hitting the fruits, and it's typically even just a light frost, the light kiss of frost can prematurely speed up the ripening of these fruits. And so, what that means is a lot of these persimmons on the tree are going to start turning. They're going to start really getting soft very quickly. And so I'd rather get them in the house, put them in uh, cold storage. And so these trees, these persimmons are going to be, I think, better off. To be honest with you, I should have came out here before yesterday night or even the night prior uh, because I really didn't want them to get hit by this frost. But it is what it is. Um, I got myself this little tool here. I don't know what this is, but this is, uh, I think this is linked actually on my Amazon storefront for anybody interested. And I also have this basket. This is really nice because this goes over my shoulders. And then uh, you just put the fruit in there as you go, all, I'll go along. And it's really nice to have for anybody that's got persimmon trees, apples, pears, stone fruits. And with the persimmon, it's good to clip them off with some pruning shears. And these are, I think, the perfect tool for the job. Um, the trees look great. Really happy with the production. Um, can't complain at one little bit. And so this fruit here is definitely one of my favorites. Uh, I think the difference, though, of what I'm doing today by harvesting the non-astringents. Um, I don't mind if the astringents all turn on the tree and get soft and hard. Um, that's it's kind of their normal process. And so they'll continue to dry and ripen inside. And I'll try to do something like hoshigaki uh, as much as I can so I can enjoy these persimmons all winter time uh, in that dried form. But the non-astringents, these are eaten like apples, like a pear. Uh, they're crunchy. They have a more mild flavor to them. Um, and so these, I, I fear that if they all went soft very quickly, you have to eat them rather quickly. And so that frost is, uh, is definitely something that you got to pay attention to in the forecast. So that's really what I'm doing today. I expect between this tam cam and this um this itchy jiro i don't know how many pounds it'll be but it's a lot of fruit and these are big size fruits some of these i mean look at the size of this it's basically the the size of the palm of my hand i mean that's crazy right uh, i wish that they could get better color uh because they're definitely not perfect as you can see some of the Different sides of the fruits are a little bit lighter orange or a yellow. Even you may even see some green on there. I don't know why people pick their persimmons so prematurely. They really just must be afraid of critters and things. Uh, but if you can let them really hang on the tree a bit better, they're going to develop a better flavor and you're going to be better off for it. But if you're picking them all off prematurely, you're not going to be very happy. Um, in my opinion, uh, or I should say as happy. What you really want to see is this darker orange color like this, which almost turns a bit red. And so that's really what we're looking for. But if it's got still even just totally orange, but it still has a lighter orange, you're not necessarily getting the fruit quality that you can. Um, 
this is a good example I think right here as well. And this is where I've been kind of harvesting every once in a while. The stray, uh, well this one actually does have some of this lighter color, but I have been coming in here to these trees and harvesting some of these a bit prematurely. Um, you can't get every fruit perfect, and so it is nice to enjoy them every once in a while, uh, even when they aren't perfect. But this is an Itchy Jiro, and if I bring you guys around, the Itchy Jiro is definitely more loaded than the Tam Cam. Um, and I think that's just due to the age and the size. The Tam Cam did take a beating, uh, I think in its second year, the trunk actually had split because there was a big snowstorm. You can see the damage down there. And so the tree is actually doing great for considering. But again, the, the yeah, there's a pretty big difference there. I will say though, even though there's less fruits, the fruit size is, is I think slightly larger than it is um, on the Giro. So the Tam Cam is slightly larger on average, but you actually harvest a couple of these and see, yeah. Yeah, so there's just a higher quantity, but you're losing out on the fruit size. This is actually a really nice one here. Um, again, it's pretty variable. That's a pretty big difference there. But these are really nice, heavy fruits. I almost sort of suspect that these are the same variety. Um, I have been seeing, especially on these larger ones, the bottom, there's actually a crack here that forms and that can't be good uh, there's typically no mold there but i imagine that could be a problem uh, for maybe commercial growers and i've been noticing that on both of the varieties but i looks like it's definitely more prominent on the the giro um, i have been told that and when you read about these fruits they're supposed to be early the giro types are supposed to be an early persimmon. I would argue the Giro is definitely later, at least my Giro is later than the Tam Cam. These don't look like they've colored up nearly as much. And I would certainly not consider either one of these a very early persimmon. In fact, Proc is at least, if today is um, November 14th, then proc is ripening roughly uh almost two and a half months earlier or let's say even two months earlier and so to me that doesn't sound right there's something going on here with these trees i don't know if this really is giro to be honest with you um i don't even know if that really is what i have as tam cam so i would ex expect that's the case that tam cam's probably correct but maybe the Giro tree I have is not um, and again I'll finish off with this Miss Kim it's been ultra productive I've already harvested a number of trees a number of fruits off of this this is an insane producer of persimmons but the thing is they're they're gonna astringent type and so I don't want to harvest these astringent types prematurely because there's no real need to do so um, they will pretty much get softer and, and uh, less astringent on the tree, intensify in flavor, get more ripe. And so I won't have nearly as many issues this way. Um, but harvesting these non-astringent types prematurely, I think is critical because again, if they're all gonna get ripe on the tree and soften up, well, that's going to be a problem. I'm going to need to, you know, make sure that I can, you know, eat these quickly. <laughs> Whereas I think the astringents, there's probably not as much of a rush. But again, I may even want to get those off the tree. Here's actually that cracking down there. I think it does depend on the fruit size. But anyway, that's the story, guys. Thanks for watching this one. Uh, got a nice pile of mulch here, Been putting around different parts of the yard. We'll, uh, we'll see you guys for the next one. Check out the other videos we've done on persimmons, and uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Take care.